This video is a promotion from Kickstarter campaign. Hi, my name is Victor Bart, and here I have 4 megabytes 30 pin sims. Brand new in 2024. So, my short advice is go to the Kickstarter campaign, click on order, and go for it because 30 pin sims 2024. And the nice thing is, the Kickstarter campaign almost hit its goal. So, you have no risk. Bartlomeel Dishiel. Yeah, he has a bit of a difficult name, so I hope I don't wreck his name. So let's call him Bart. Bart sent me eight modules for me to try out. And my first plan was I take my 286, rip out the 4 megabytes of memory, and put this in and have 16 megabytes of memory in the machine. Only <laughs> I read in the documentation that my 286 doesn't support 4 megabyte sticks. And I messed something up in the BIOS and it has a super cap which still charge. So I need to wait probably two months before it runs down and so I don't gonna try it. And it has plastic clips and that's terrible with 30 pin sims. So the product is uh, now still connected to each other so you can break it off. But I think this looks so amazing. So now I can make like super nice thumbnails. Let's try this. FPM DRAM 4 megabyte SIM. And what I like about that, that it is written on the module how much megabytes it is. Let's let's do like a little test. Let's show you the problem with 30 pin SIMs. There's some text on this, but it doesn't say how much megabyte this module is. Also this module, turbo thing, but no statement about how big this module is, but you can look up the numbers, but that's a lot of work. <laughs> here in topless memory module, oh here it says 1 megabyte 60 nanosecond. So this one has documentation, but that is rare, because this one doesn't have it, and this one doesn't have it. I have more here, and it's really hard to see how big a module is. So let's see how easy is it to break it off. It takes some force. Maybe first play. <laughs> this this uh, feels a bit scary. Oh, there it goes. Ooh, this <laughs> is a bit hard. Ah, there it goes. And the last one. Yeah, that went easier. I made a little test setup and I don't think I showed this hardware before on my channel. But this is a 486 motherboard. The CPU is I think a DX266 but I didn't check it even. Oh it's a Cyrix DX4 100 MHz. Oh that's a weird CPU. But at least I know this motherboard supports Intel 100 MHz CPUs. Oh, that's a quite interesting CPU. Uh, <laughs> I didn't expect that on this board because it's a face a local bus board and not a PCI board. And I have two of those boards, and the other one wasn't even uh, working. And I just swapped the <laughs> CPUs over, and the jumpers were like a bit the same. And it worked. 72 pin uh, modules can be used, and for 30 pin uh, sims, we have a diamond. Speedstar Pro uh, ISA video card, just the first video card that uh, was compatible with this board that I found. Right now we have four 1 megabyte modules and that was just to test out this board. Oh, and I connected the PC speaker. So we have 4 megabytes of memory but this hardware is untested and <laughs> it probably will give errors or don't work. <laughs> so yeah, my 486 hardware is not really in a good shape. It's like all untested and it doesn't really work. But at least we can see if the brand new modules from BART will work in this machine. I didn't have time to find an uh, AT power supply in my collection. But <laughs> does someone know is there 220 volt on this cable to the switch? Because it looks scary. <laughs> At least now I have a working set of 4 megabytes. To be honest, 
that set is isn't so needed anymore with this new uh, production run. So let's test it out. Sixteen megabyte of memory. It's working. Uh, the BIOS on this machine is pretty cool because it's like a graphical BIOS with like a Windows 3.1 uh, style. LCD Army Pastel Sky. <laughs> cool! <laughs> okay, this motherboard is awesome. <laughs> it has an army style. Ooh, this is terrible. Sky, ah, this is okay. LCD. Yeah, that works. But we go for army. There's not much we can see in terms of specs or memory. So let's go out of here. And also it doesn't show the CPU on this screen. I think we should all go to the Kickstarter campaign and back it up. Because if you check the prices it's super affordable. I gonna order a 64 megabyte kit myself after this video because I want to have stock of these modules. Because it's so handy to have just good big modules so you can just fill a 486 up and a 386 maybe some 286s you can fill up your uh, sound blasters and just have stock of 4 megabyte modules so you can run windows 95 on those machines and have enough memory and just have fun and you don't have to deal with ebay uh, people with old modules that can be broken and or yeah too much trouble finding the 4 megabyte modules and I never found them myself. Go for the Kickstarter campaign and let's make this a great success. And what I love to see if Bart goes further than only the 30 pin sims. We should convince him that he should make 32 megabyte 72 pin Edo sims. Because that's the next step that we want to have like an unlimited supply and an affordable supply for. I took a break on this channel because this summer I uh, went with uh, like a little Suzuki Jimmy three weeks to Scandinavia as a solo trip and I'm editing now the videos of that trip. Please check it out. The first two episodes are already online and it will be amazing and please help me to uh, reach uh, 5000 subscribers on that channel. We need like 80 90 people more check it out the links are in the description if you like to support me you can support me monthly on patreon and get access to my awesome discord server or use my amazon affiliated links and thanks for watching